Hey guys, about two years ago, I came out with a quick fix on YouTube to fix iMessage and FaceTime on your Hackintosh. Um, keep in mind that was educational purposes only, and this is also for educational purposes only. Uh, I've, there's a, a lot easier way to do it nowadays, and I'm going to show you that now. So first off, I'm going to have the notes down in the description. You want to go ahead and uh, clear everything out. So chances are you come to this video after you've been trying for a while and you can't get your iMessage to work. So what we're going to do first is follow these steps. I'll have you're going to go log into iCloud first. So we're going to go to iCloud.com. You're going to log into your uh, iCloud account. And it might come up with a security number you might have to enter in, so go ahead and do that. You're going to go to Find My iPhone. And then go up to the top where it says All Devices, click that. And you're going to go through and see all of your uh, current Hackintoshes or Real Macs. And you're going to go here and delete each one that is your failed attempts so click on it and then go uh, remove from account it's very important you click remove from account and not erase mac go ahead and log out go into your system preferences into icloud and then in here you're going to sign out of icloud Click that, and once you're signed out, you're going to restart your computer. We just cleared out your information as far as the Apple servers go. So now online, your failed attempts are erased, but your failed attempts are still saved onto your hard drive. So what we're going to do is follow the next directions. You can open up your finder, click on your username, right click, go to show options, and click right here, show library folder. Once you've got that open, go ahead and open up your library. Go down to caches and then follow the directions in the description. You're actually going to look for and delete anything starting with uh, what's selected below. After you're done with that, you're going to switch directories to username, library, preferences. So it's actually right back here. And you're going to go down to preferences. And once you're in the preferences, you're going to, again, look for and delete anything starting with. So, and what I mean by starting with is it could be com.apple.ichat or com.apple.ichat.something else. But you're going to delete everything that starts with those words. Now, once that's all loaded up, you're going to want to get into your config p list. So we're going to open up Clover Configurator. I'm going to go mount EFI. And then it'll show all your EFI partitions. Mount your, excuse me, mount your EFI partition. Open partition. Open up the EFI. Go into Clover. And then you're going to open up your config plist. You are going to go down to RT variables. You're going to want 0x28 and 0x67. Um, also, change your ROM and just use the MAC address is fine. Go into your SM BIOS. You're going to click down here and choose, oops, you're going to choose the latest hardware settings available for your hardware that match your hardware. So in my case, it's going to be MacBook Air 6.6. .6. And then from here, you're going to click Generate New. And you can hit it once, twice. It's a little bit different than the old Clover Configurator did, uh, was in my previous video two years ago. But you're just going to hit Generate New as many times as you need to. Go ahead and copy that. You're going to open up this everymac.com forward slash ultimate Mac lookup. We're going to do that one first. You're going to paste your serial number in there and click Lookup. 
make sure that you're not a robot there with the captcha and you're gonna get an answer here so this says there's no results found if you get this no results found you're gonna have to go back to the drawing board we're gonna go back to Clover configurator we're gonna click generate again generate a new one copy paste and look up All right, here we go. So now we found one that matches. So it'll say whatever it is. Um, this one is uh, MacBook Air Core i5. It'll uh, basically goes off of the information that you have in your Clover configurator. So now we know we have a good serial number as far as every Mac goes. And from here, we're gonna close that out. And then we're gonna go to the next website, which is checkcoverage.apple.com going to enter that same serial number in here again with the captcha click continue and here's a problem so with this serial number it says that you have service coverage and you have a valid purchase this means that this serial number is actually belongs to an actual MacBook Air in this case so we can't use that again this is only for educational purposes but you don't want to be that kind of person. So we're going to generate another one and we are going to go back and start again. So we're going to start again from every Mac. It's actually good that it's working out this way so you actually can see what happens when it fails. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it goes right through. Okay, again, we found a good one. So we are going to go to checkcoverage.apple.com. Paste that in there. And do the CAPTCHA. And this is what we want to see. So we're sorry, but your serial number is invalid. If it says your serial number is invalid, it, all that means is that it recognizes a serial number. Apple recognizes a serial number, but it is not assigned to any computer that has been built by them yet. And once you assign it to your account, they won't give it out after that. So it doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect anybody else. So now that we have a serial number that's not being used by anybody, but is an actual Apple serial number, you can see Clover's already uh, automatically populated everything else, information for everything else, not like the older version. Um, you've already got your board serial number, so you don't have to change anything here, but we still need our SMUUID. We're going to go ahead and open up Terminal. Type in UUID Gen, and now it generates your UUID. Go ahead and copy that. Put that under SMUUID, File, Save, close Clover Configurator, and restart your computer. Once you get your computer restarted, you can go ahead and log back into iCloud, and then from there you can open up iMessage and everything should be working fine for you. If this video helped, go ahead and like it, and please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about anything, please leave it down below and I'll try to make a video for you. If you wanna see a video on anything else, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Thank you.